reading out more information related to Genesis of the Daleks. They were reading out themes and analysis, all from Wikipedia, obviously. Nation, who grew up during World War II, intentionally based the Daleks on the Nazis, and this episode contains many deliberate parallels. The Carlids dress in uniforms reminiscent of the Nazis and display fascist salutes. The Carlids look to keep their race pure by banishing the files and mutos. Cast and crew members described it as a warning to the world about the dangers of, danger of allowing authoritarianism to take over. Davros has been likened to Nazi dictator Adolf Hitler several times, while physical comparisons have also been drawn between the appearance of NIDA and SS Chief Heinrich Himmler, aside from the resemblance both wear insignias and spectacles. As production of the third episode began, the producers decided to play down some of the Nazi symbolism and took away NIDA's Iron Cross. It briefly reappears in a later scene that was filmed in the first recording block. Ed Webb and Mark Wardecker, in a paper in Doctor Who and Philosophy, interpreted the Dalek history shown in Genesis of the Daleks as a warning that scientists will be the one to bring about the ultimate destruction, the ultimate evil, and deliberately so. They also commented that the serial showed that the Daleks were evil by design, rather than evolution. Davros represents a mad scientist who creates a monster that then consumes him. Sarah Honeychurch and Niall Burr in the same book, wrote that the corruption of the Daleks showed that the creatures should not be created with such limited moral reasoning, and that in our world we cannot impose our own personal human standards on everybody else.